I'm pretty sure that the NeoVim community has more fuzzy finding plugins than it has girls. So it's kind of surprising that maybe I'm still using Telescope, which some people consider an older and less optimal one. I did for a while, I was using MiniPick, but I think it's just the most extensible, the most feature rich, the best overall, it has the best built-in defaults. And I'll show you why. It's got everything you'd expect. Like I have bindings set up for um, finding files and you know, I could jump to them. Or you can also do everything like splitting, like I could do control V to uh, vertical split and then I could open up, let's open up a PNG, this always look good, and then control X to uh, horizontal split and then you could even open it a tab, you know, I could open, uh, I don't know why I have that, control T in a new tab. And then if we go back to here and we jump back to the config, you can also search help. I have SH set up for that. You can search anything. You could look up um, like the telescope built-ins and all the different ways you can configure it. You can also search all the different pickers they have built in and there's kind of a lot of them. So you could search like color schemes. Uh, it's not immediately updating, but we could do that and search color schemes. Um, and let's see, what else can we do? We can search environment variables. I have that picker set up, which is really nice. Oh, that's actually live grep, sorry. Um, so live grep, I could say, I don't know, maybe I have a main function, yeah, an arrow space. That's pretty self-explanatory, everyone kind of knows that. And then same thing, we could control T to open that in a new tab, we're working on a new thing. So it's just really nice. You can see the preview of all of this is great too. Like it's updating on the side, it's using tree sitter, so the highlighting is nice. And then we've also got like I was saying earlier, environment variables. So I have leader, I could turn on key casting, but I, I wanna just tell you, I want you to stay strong and not be reliant on software for everything. So leader S and then capital E will give me my environment variables. Hopefully I didn't just leak a critical API key, but I'm not gonna search through this, but basically it would just let you copy them. And it's very, very handy to be able to just see what active environment variables you have. Uh, there's a little extension, I think, uh, they got me this one, but Let's look at actually the bindings I have. So most of them are under leader S, except for the very important ones. Uh, let's see, okay, here we go. Yeah, so I've got find files, grep. This is really nice, grep inside. I have it as search inside, so leader SI. That'll take built-in and it'll slap it into the, um, you can see it just found built-in immediately. It basically like filters by the word that you're in. So that's really nice if you want to grep the whole code base. I usually do go reference if I'm looking around for other things, but it's uh, it's just, it's nice sometimes. Um, and then also buffers, leader B, that's pretty self-explanatory. We could just go here and then, you know, control X, and then we've got a split. And then let's see, um, old files, that's also self-explanatory, leader SR, and then that's just files I've been in. Oh, actually, that's not old files. Did I type SR? Uh, let's source this file. Uh, now my theme is ugly, there we go. Same random theme, that's interesting. Okay, there we go, SR and yeah, old files. I guess I've just been, no, it's LSP references. So I have LSP references somehow as well. I guess I'm binding it over this, oh I am. Uh, search recent, search, how about search old? Okay, now we should get, uh, there we go. I just set this up sort of recently, so that's why that, oh, that's readable, SH for, help tags, I showed that already. SM for man pages is nice because it pulls from different pages of the man pages. They all have subs so we could look at like Z shell built-ins, you know, and that's like a page within that and then that'll open that up because I have Vim as my man pager. You can export an environment variable that does that. And then LSP references, I showed that. That's really nice because leader SR and then you can search through all the references to it because we're using that built-ins later on so you can see I jump to another one. That gets really, really handy on multi-file code bases where you're passing something around, especially React, because uh, it's such like a DOM tree across different files. Uh, built-in, built-in is really nice. They just have so many things built into Telescope you wouldn't expect. Like you can do all the LSP stuff, like see that is really nice. You can do also like options. This is really nice just to see what's available. You can turn on and off everything and it allows you to toggle them. And then let's see, what else do they have? They have git commands. <clears throat> they have the jump list, so you can pick like where you've jumped to. And I just have leader st bound to this because a lot of these I won't use very often, but sometimes, yeah, like I just wanna see my key maps and I can search through there. And then like, I should pass more descriptions to these, but I just kind of wrote that in a hurry. Uh, registers is nice. You can normally see your registers at this. Let's make this a little more readable, but um, 
yeah, you can say dis or you can say, I think reg, they show the same thing. But with this, you can do search D and then that'll show you your, so we could go like import and then grab that. And it looks like it pasted at the end, yeah. So that's just a little more convenient way to fuzzy find if you know something's in a register. It makes me use registers a little more. And then I just have built in color scheme, um, which just, just to toggle it quickly, that's kind of dark, okay. That's a lot lighter. And then, yeah, I already showed env. And then this doesn't work all that well in certain file types because not everything supports code actions, but basically there's the native GRA, which will show you a little menu at the bottom for OSP code actions. You can see change, blah, 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 blah. And that's nice, but I kind of prefer the telescope UI. So I have layer SA, and then that'll allow me to like change this. And it also would show a preview. Um, so you can see I just run that code action. It, it really depends on the language, like how good your code action can possibly be, but I find it quite useful. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The reason I have these bound to S, and let me reorganize that, is because someone pointed out in my comments that having S on these is really nice because first of all, it's mnemonic, it's like search, and second of all, it's like allows you to roll. I would choose, I chose S because it's on my home row, and actually I think it's on the home row of QWERTY too, which is awesome. But then you can just like roll like SI, SO, SH is all really easy to type for me. I can type that very quickly. And then like leader F for me is just, it could be SF, I guess. I wouldn't mind that that much, but S and F are on the same column for me in Colmac. I could throw a picture of that on screen. So basically, uh, yeah, that, that's just so unergonomic and so unoptimal. And same thing for SG kind of requires a weird finger movement. So I just have G because grep is like a very, very common thing to do. Um, and then, yeah, that's about it for this one. Let's see if there's any built-in ones I'm forgetting about. There's probably more things that I'm going to add. Oh, this is cool. It'll show you all the highlight groups. That's really awesome if you're trying to customize your color scheme. Um, personally, I'm a bit of a color scheme nomad these days. I've been living that lifestyle, which, I don't know, it's a hard lifestyle to get used to, but once you're used to it, it makes you not at all more productive. It actually just pretty much distracts you and makes your content harder to watch. They also have planets. This is just like a little reference to the fact that it's a telescope. Everyone kind of knows that, but yeah, that's about it for this one. Let me know if you use some picker. And there's a, there's another little thing I've been meaning to add, but I haven't totally figured out yet, is if you are searching for something and like, yeah, let's say we search brew, but you want to restrict the like file type, there's a certain way to do that and I haven't found it yet. I know Tej has a video setting up uh, some kind of like file filtering, but I still have to figure it out. But yeah, that's about it. That's why I like telescope. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have to show my config probably. Uh, telescope. Um, there's the setup. Okay, so this is for the LSP actions. And then, okay, here we go, here we go. That took a way too long. Um, so I turn on dev icons. I have that on now. Same thing for oil, just for um, it looking more clear. I don't know. And then the border characters, normally it's like a rounded thing, but I just turn off all borders so I can get like a full screen picker. I prefer that because I don't, I don't really understand why people have like this big like bordered thing pop up above their code, you know, because actually I think I could turn this off and then uh, it would probably require like a restart, but uh, let's jump back there. Yeah, this is, this is fine, I suppose. Like, I don't, I don't hate that totally, but I kind of prefer to just have it take up my full screen. What I don't really understand is when people have it like in the center of their screen and it's not the full width, it's like, are you really trying to look at your code underneath that? I guess kind of the idea is for context, but it's like you're already trying to switch context away from where you are currently. I don't see the point of not having that take up the entire screen, but I don't know. Maybe there's some argument I'm not considering. And then path display is smart just for really long paths. It's not really occurring in this, but it'll just truncate them in a way you can see the file you're searching for. Layout strategy horizontal, no idea what that means. Not a self-explanatory name at all. And then layout config, this just maximizes width and height. I think you define it out of like 0.9 would be like 90, but 
I couldn't figure out a way to make it 100% because you type one and then it's like, oh, you want one column. You want the smallest amount. So I just maximized the numbers. If I ever got an ultra wide monitor, it probably wouldn't take up the whole screen, but then I just crank these up. And then prompt position top and preview cutoff 40. Not sure what preview cutoff does. Like honestly, I change it and nothing happens at all. So uh, I leave it there. And then there was one more thing. This ascending kind of goes with this prompt position top. So yeah, I could do like, um, I think if I commented this out, it defaults to descending and this defaults to bottom. So if we hit a restart, then it would be like this. But yeah, I just put it uh, on ascending because I am quirky and different. This video is sponsored by people who talk to other people with similar interests. A lot of you guys in my comments are kind of carrying by dropping your information and going on my GitHub forum thing and talking to other people about other stuff. You just make the world go round. I don't know, I just noticed because I met like a fan the other day at this basement party and he had emailed me like a few months ago and asked if he should go to UVM or another school and I was like, UVM kind of sucks, but he went there anyway. And I just think that's really cool. People of similar interests talking to each other and collaborating on things. Go find people who are similarly interested in random programming things like you are and help them out with stuff. They're all over the place and they're probably the most influential people you can interact with.